So the house Trevor's family lives in has six people, including Trevor, and three bathrooms. So let's write that down. So six people and three bathrooms. Generally, anything numerical that we're given, any piece of information where there's a number attached to it, that's generally something I'll write down to solve these word problems. So we got six people and three bathrooms. In the past month, each person showered for an average of 480 minutes and used an average of 72 liters of shower water. So we'll say each person is 480 minutes of shower time and uses, we'll say 72 liters per shower. And we know the cost of water, it's 20 cents per liter. So $0.20 per liter. And our question is, how much did Trevor's family pay per minute on shower water? So pay per minute. So these are gonna be our units, dollars per minute in the end. And to get to the cost, let's think about a possible path here. So to get to the cost per minute, well, we know how much it costs per liter. So we need to figure out how many liters we're using in a month. And keep in mind, we need to know how much the family pays. So a lot of this information is given individually. We know what each person does on average, but in total, we gotta remember there are six people in the house and we wanna know what the total cost is per minute. So let's think about how much it's gonna cost for one shower. And I should be careful, I didn't write this out perfectly. This is not 72 liters per shower. This is 72 liters of shower water over the month. So in a month, the person, each person will spend 480 minutes in the shower and they'll use up 72 liters of water. So we can figure out the cost per person for their month of shower usage. Since they're using 72 liters and it costs 20 cents a liter. So we'll just do a little bit of unit conversion. So 20 cents per liter and liters cancel out in the top and bottom, so you just get money. And 72 times 0.2 would be $14.40. And again, this is the cost per person. So really the total cost would be six times that. And now we need to figure out the cost per minute. So we need to figure out how many total minutes is being used in the shower for each person. And there's 480 minutes in a month. So this cost is divided out between this 480 minutes. So let's do that. We know that it's 1414 per person. And we know that every person uses, so one person uses 480 minutes and the shower, and we can cancel out these units. So you get 1440 divided by 480. And when you put it into the calculator, what you'll find is that it works out to about three cents per minute. So if we go back up to our problem, so how much did Trevor's family pay per minute on shower water? You would put in three cents or 0 .03 dollars per minute. And we can ignore the fact that there are six people. I know that the question is asking for how much did Trevor's family spend? And if they were asking for total dollars, then we would take this 1440 and we would multiply it by six. And you get something 80 something dollars for the month. However, it's asking for a rate, dollars per minute. And so each family member, regardless of who's in the shower, it costs three cents for every minute they're in there. So now if we need, wanted to know the total cost, again, we could figure that out. We can multiply it by 480 minutes and then multiply it by six people. But since we're not looking for the total cost, we're just looking for that rate, and we know the rate is the same for each person, that rate is $0.03 per minute or three cents per minute. So in this question, that this six people actually can throw you off. So you have to be careful in this one. And this is why I'm very careful with my units. We knew that it was 1440 per person, and then we knew that one person using 480 minutes. And so we were able to just cancel out the P 
people part of it or the per person part of it. And so our units just worked out. We had dollars per minute. So we effectively removed the fact that we were doing this per person. So hopefully that makes sense, but let's move on to another problem. This will be our last one. And just like the last ones, we're gonna read through it and then just slowly organize our information. So Linux owns a big apple orchard. She ships her apples to various markets using a fleet of trucks. Every week, each truck goes on three trips. And for each trip, Linux gets $300. So let's write that down. So we can say each truck goes on three trips per week. And we know that Linux gets $300 per trip. So you can kind of figure this out right away if there are three trips in a week and each trip is $300. So that would be $900 for the week. They didn't give us this information, but you can quickly figure it out. And that's uh, per truck. So let me just put that other fraction down there. It is a little bit complicated, but it's $900 a week per truck. And on a single trip, a truck delivers 50 packs. Each pack contains 12 kilograms of apples. And then overall, Linux sells $4,500 worth of apples in a week. So on a single trip, let's figure out what the weight in apples is. So uh, let's say per trip, there are 50 packs and there are 12 kilograms in each pack. So we can multiply to figure out our total weight in one trip. So 50 times 10 would be 500, 50 times two is 100. So this would be 600 kilograms per trip. So notice in this problem, I'm kind of just figuring out information as I go. And before I fully organize it, this is another strategy. The one drawback of just writing down and figuring out this information as you go is that some of this is not going to be relevant to you. So the strategy from the first few problems where I wrote out all the information first and then tried to do some calculations, that's probably the more efficient way to do it. But I'm just showing you kind of an alternate strategy that does work. It's just, you might end up doing more work than necessary. And so our last bit of information, overall Linux sells $4,500 worth of apples in a week. Let's write that down. So total, let's say sales or whatever you wanna call it is $4,500 for the week. So we got lots of information here. So we need to figure out how much does Linux get for a single kilogram of apples? So we want dollars per kilogram. We're looking at a unit rate here. So dollars divided by kilograms. So that's what we need to end up with. And to figure that out, we first need to figure out how many total kilograms were used for the week. And we know that each truck or each trip that there are 600 kilograms used up. And each truck will take three of those trips in a week. So let's use that. So the truck, let me change colors. We know that it's making three trips in a week and each trip is 1800 kilograms. So 1800 kilograms per week is delivered in each truck. But we need to know how many trucks total there are. And so to figure that out, that's a little bit tricky, but basically we know each truck is bringing in 900 a week. And we know the total is 4,500 for the week. So to get that total, you would have to have five trucks because five times $900 a week per truck you would end up with 4,500 total for that week. Because remember, it was 900 a week per truck. So trucks, sorry, that's a little sloppy, but trucks would cancel out and you just get $4,500 per week. So we know there are five trucks and each truck is carrying 1,800 kilograms. So we'll say 1,800 kilograms times by our five trucks and remember that's 1800 kilograms per truck. So the trucks cancel out here and you just get weight. And we know 1800 times five is 9,000. So in total, 
there are 9,000 kilograms of these apples being shipped every week. So if we go back to our problem here, we want to know how many dollars per kilogram. And if she's making $4,500 total and selling 9,000 kilograms, we can just set that up into a ratio. Let me work over here. We'll do the price up top, so 4,500. And we know we want to do price up top because it's dollars per kilogram. Remember the word per just means to divide. So dollars divided by kilograms. So $4,500 divided by 9,000 kilograms. And that simplifies to 50 cents per kilogram. So we'd put it in the box, you get half a dollar for every kilogram of apples sold or Linux gets that much.